All right, we were talking about impact when we are presenting the menu, and now we're just gonna go deeper into this greeting, sitting, and presenting the menu procedures. Now, the initial moment of the guest dining experience are crucial. You know, they shape their perception of the restaurant and their overall satisfaction. We have only few short moments to win the guest on our side to earn their trust and you know get their confidence in us. So we have to use those few seconds really, really wise. Greeting of the guest last it leaves a lasting impression. All right. Now, if you messed up greeting the guests at the front door and they, you bring their mood and down and you see them on the table, to make those guests happy and trusting and have confidence in your you know, ability, skills, and of course in the whole restaurant, it's much more harder. It's much more hard. All right, you never get a chance for a second uh, for a first impression. You don't have second chance for first impression. All right, that's it. Once you go to the guests, you greet them, and if you messed up, you will never have a second chance. All right, this is we are we are actors right there on the stage, live stage on Broadway in front of the crowd, and this is not a movie, all right, where the, the, the director can say, cut, because you messed up something, and then second double, and second take, and you can do it again and again and again until we make it right. No, we are on Broadway in front of hundreds of eyes, and we have to be on top of our game. So, a warm, welcoming greeting creates a positive first impression, and make the kiss more receptive to recommendations later. You gotta understand, if we are able to establish this personal, friendly relationship from the first moment with our guests, that makes our life much easier through the evening. Foundation of trust. You know, the greeting phase is an opportunity to establish rapport and trust with the guests. Top selling waiters excel at creating a personal connection. That's what sells. Personal connection, the guests trust you and you are much more likely to be able to sell your recommendations. That's what the key is. Understanding preferences. Now, listen actively. Pick up the little subtle cues that they give you while they are explaining whatever they're explaining and then base your recommendations on their preferences. Now, setting expectations. During the greeting and seating process, waiters can set the stage for the guest experience. If we do everything right, those guests, they come with certain experience, expectations, right? And we exceed their expectation at the first moment we meet them at the front door or at the table. This will set you for success. It will set you for success for the rest of the evening with those guests. Showcasing expertise. You know, presenting the menu is an opportunity for us to demonstrate knowledge and expertise. You have to have the confidence. You have to have the proper positive attitude. You know, top selling waiters not only describe dishes, but also share enticing details that make the menu come alive, picking the guest's interest. That's why I say you put the story behind it and that will help you sell anything. Creating anticipation. All right. Now, when I say something is like really something that you will never be able to test anywhere else in the world because my chef is somebody that's a fifth generation pizza yolo it comes from napoli and so and so 
you are creating right real interest and anticipation in the guest and and now selling this pizza or whatever this dish is much more easier seamless transition to recommendation now very very important is that we make our suggestion and our pitch to sell seamlessly into the conversation nice and easy like i told you guys you are collecting the main courses the plates from the main course and you're asking the guest how was your meal is everybody happy blah, blah, blah. and once they say yes we're happy you just seamlessly trans translate <laughs> you make a transition to the to the dessert pitch wonderful thank you so much now it's gonna get even better because you will have a chance to test the best tiramisu in the world and then of course something behind that with a story about your patisserie chef in or maybe because um, you know use the magic words because this is the most popular dessert we have dessert we have and so on and so forth. 